later I'll be discussing about how to make mandaji and kachori, so this is not the discussion. The discussion, what I'm going to have tonight, inshallah, because uh, it's already 8.30, so I would like to finish as soon as possible. Let's see, inshallah ta'ala. So I don't want to uh, tell you that how many slides do I have actually in front of me. <laughs> did the halal and haram food, when it comes to halal and haram food, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kulu min tayyibat ma razaqnakum washkuru lillahi in kuntum iyyahu ta'abudun O those who have believed kulu eat min tayyibat the thing which is Good, which is tayyib, which is paak, which is tahir, eat that food. Ma razaqnakum, which we have given to you. Washkuru lillahi, and do shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have heard a lot of times, for example, on the day of Ashura, Imam Hussain is standing in front of uh, Fawji Ashqiya, and he says this that mulayat butunukum min al haram, that your stomach is full of haram. If I guide you, you will not uh, pay heed to the guidance. You will not do that, Imam Nika. Because shikam jo hai, your tummy, your stomach is full of haram. Now, the discussion can be here that what do you mean that, that haram? Okay, is it because of the earning or because of the food itself? So sometimes the earning is halal, but the thing what I'm eating, it's haram on me to eat this. Or sometimes, okay, earning is haram and the eating is, the food is halal. Or the third case could be, earning is haram and the food itself is haram. So tonight's discussion, I'm not going to have a discussion on uh, how to earn and what is halal earning and what is haram earning. I directly jaunga discuss karunga food ke upar jaake, food itself. If for example, if I ask you, that how will you describe which food is halal and which food is haram? How will you start the discussion? So th that's how I'll be having a discussion. Uh, interactive. Sonne nahi dunga kisi ko. Majlis mein soliya soliya aapne. Wow. Aap bhoot soote hain majlis ke andar. Mein dekh raha ho toh main. Mujhe salwaat ke nahi padhe. Salwaat padhe hain toh. Jaghana padhe hain. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Class mein definitely aapko sonne nahi dunga main. Sahi hai. Thik. If you say to how discussion you start How will you start your discussion on halal and haram food? How will categorize it? For example, if I say categorize, okay. How will you do this? Baba, yalla, speak up. Earnings, okay, you earnings. Earnings, leave the I'm not discussing about the earning. Food itself, my discussion is on food. Ke we believe that your earning is halal. Okay, keep it aside. Now come to the food itself. Kya khaun, kya nahi khaun. Ya sab khaun. Now, how to distribute this halal and haram food? Actually, actually yaha se aapse start kya? So, aap kare najis and paak. That's how we distribute. Is it okay? Should I go ahead like this? So, will it cover everything? Najis and park. Okay, there are few things which are park, but you're not allowed to eat. Fourteen things in a goat or in a cow. We call it chod masumin. You're not allowed to eat. <laughs> you're not allowed. They are park. These are park. Not najis, but you're not allowed to eat. So, in which category will it fall? Huh? Okay, so this distribution is not correct. Huh? This categorization. Okay. Because if you categorize like, categorize like this, Najis and Park, so there are some Park things you're not allowed to eat. So 14 Masumin. Okay, what else? Yeah? Slaughtering. So which we slaughter and which? Slaughtering according to the Sharia and slaughtering which is not according to the Sharia. Okay, for example, I'll ask this question. What about the eagle's egg? Are you allowed to eat or not? Eagle's egg. Ha have you slaughtered? 
Allah Ta'ala. If you go with the slaughtering, this is a problem. What else? Halal and haram. So, this is the distribution. This is the halal and haram. This is the distribution. How will you distribute halal and haram? On what basis? What should be the criteria? So, the criteria should be in such a way that it covers everything. For example, I say, oh, in front of me, the, the group is, is, is in such a way. Say, there are uh, some Pakistanis and there are some uh, uh, Tanzanians. Is this okay? Why? Because there might be there some people who are from India. So whenever you are categorizing something, so as a now, ke kuch se bahir chali jaye. It should not go out. So, wo sabko andar le so it should be general. It should take everything inside. Yes. According to Sharia. According to Sharia. No, Sharia ki ke according kya hogi? What will be according? Ye wahi ho gaya. For example, aapka ghar kahan par hai? Where is your house? In front of the bank. Where is the bank? In front of our house. Where is the bank and your house? In front of each other. Edible. Okay. Okay. Yalla. Healthy and unhealthy. Oh, doctor has come. Oh, we are not discussing about healthy and unhealthy. If, it, if this is the case, whatever we hojas are eating is all, all haram. It is all haram. Wallahi. So, sambusa you are giving. Is it okay? And the mita mita, what was it? Visheti, huh? So, if you ask the doctor, they'll say, well, it's unhealthy. So then you will, they will give you what? Green tea. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's what. So healthy and healthy. Leave it. I'll go to directly actually. Because uh, that's how I will proceed. Inshallah, I will be having four, five ses sessions on this. With, uh, the slide. Can you please go to the next slide? Go to the next slide. Okay, please leave me. Uh, make this big. The slide itself. So type of foods, if I'll go, types of food itself. There are two types of foods. Is it vegetative or non-vegetative? Can you see vegetative or non-vegetative? This is better. Let me have. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see vegetative and non-vegetative. In vegetatives, fruits, vegetables, legumes. Legumes kya hote hain? Channa wagara jaise dalhe jo hoti hain. Thik hai? Yeh vegetables ke andar aagya. Non-vegetative. Now you have to categorize into aquatic, jo darya mein hote hain, birds, jo hawa mein hote hain, land, jo zameen mein hote hain, insects and worms, jo bhi zameen mein hote hain. Kisi ne Chinese se puchhe, tum kya khate ho? To bolte, hum log bhoot saadhe log hain, teen cheeze khate hain, jo tairti hai, jo urti hai, jo zameen pe chalti hai, si vahi khate hain. They eat everything. They eat everything. Hope. This is how we'll categorize. Now, if I go to vegetative, answer from your side, which is how, what is halal, what is haram? Vegetative. Vegetative is very easy. Okay, this category, please remember this. Nobody came with this answer. Mohanana, Hindu and non-Hindu food. No, only this discussion comes. Smiley, non-smiley. See, we have categorized, actually, if you go to the back, uh, to the previous slide, if you go back. So the previous slide, if you see, the distribution or the categorization is based on the food itself. Later on, we'll have another uh, categorization based on what you food receive. Kar rahe hai. It's a different thing now. So that categorization will be based on from whom you are receiving the food. It is a different Hindu, non-Hindu. Keep this aside. Currently, by our discussion is on the food itself. You understood? Or you don't understand? That food, 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 Hmm, intoxication is kind of bangi, vegetable in Molana. Kaum <laughs> bangi. Sorry, Samahani, intoxication is haram. Hai. Number two is a wo aapki health ke liye. Koi uh, ek acha jumla kehte hai iske liye ke major harm lekar aara ho. For example, poison. <laughs> so, 
So if there is poison, you are not allowed to eat that poison. Even if it's a leaf, for example, so wap nahi kha sakte. This is other than that, jo khane khaiye aap. Jo khane khaiye. Vegetables is easy. Go to the next slide. Vegetative. So what is the rule? All fruits and vegetables and legumes are halal except for those that are harmful to the body. Harmful in such a way that ek major harm aapke liye lekar hai. Mar sakta mungkin hai. Uski khane se uska jo hai dimaag kharaab ho sakta hai. For example, wo pagal ho sakta hai, diwana ho sakta hai. If it is up to that level, that is haram. Sorry. Number two, aquatic. Dariya ke andar, kya bhai? Kya khai? Kya nahi khai? What should be the rule? Thumb rule. See, Islam is very easy. They will give you thumb rules. What should be the thumb rule? Yeah. Fish with the scales. Okay. Okay, what should be the rule? Everything is halal except, or everything is haram except. What should be the rule? Oh, they have gone to the next slide. Don't go, Baba. I'm asking. <laughs> so, ev in vegetable, the rule was everything is halal except it was harmful. In aquatic, it's vi vice versa. Everything is haram except two. Except two. Number one, fish with the scales. Number two, shrimps or prawns. Shrimps or prawns? Ab mujhe kya difference is ki shrimps kisko kehte hain, prawns kisko kehte hain, mujhe nahi pata. Shrimps and prawns, you can go to the next slide. Yeah, shrimps and prawns. You can see all amphibians and marine mammals are haram meat except number one, scaly fish. Number two, shrimp or prawn. Ab ye puri dunia aapke saamne khul jayegi. Okay, go to the next slide. You can see not allowed to eat. Number one is crab. Number two, lobster. Number three, crocodile. Mashallah, sab khate hain par ab. Tanzania mein to. Tortoise, nahi malum mujhe khate nahi khate. Frog, lizard. So ye sab haram hai. So ye lizard, lizard ko yahan dal aquatic ke andar. Kuch mumkin hai shayad aquatic wala lizard hoga koi. I forgot. Khub. The thing is this: these are all harams. Question. Maulana, eating is haram. What about crab soup? Eating is haram. What about crab soup? Kaun jawab dega? Jo jawab dega, uske liye salwaat hai. Crab ka soup peena halal hai, haram hai. Kiyon? Humne to khane ka kaha tha apko. Aap crab kha rahi hai? Mein ne aam taur pe crab ke soup mein kya ta hai? Crab ko ghusl diya jata hai. So mein to crab ka ghusl pee raha hoon mein. Okay. अगर मैं क्रैप का सूप पी रहा हूं क्या आप कह सकते हैं कि मैं क्रैप क्रैप को खा रहा हूं मैं विल यू से दिस और नॉट बाबा ये तो वाटर है इसमें क्रैप है क्या अंदर क्रैप्स मीट इज हराम या एक्सीलेंट सलवार ऑन मोहम्मद आल मोहम्मद मोहम्मद जब आप उसको बॉइल करेंगे वॉट इज गोइंग हैपन उसके फैट रिलीज होंगे नहीं होंगे If in that soup fat of that crab is there, so if you melt, whoever you are, if you are drinking, then your mouth is going to be full of fat. It's haram. But if, for example, this crab is, and crab I have ghosted it, now can I drink this? Definitely, I can drink because crab is not red nages. It's ghosted in the sense that it's a little bit of fat. There's no problem. But for making soup, yeah, so its fat is going to be in the soup. आप बॉइल करते हैं सो यू कांट सो इफ यू गो एंड सी ऑन द वेबसाइट आयतुल सिसानी तो आयतुल सिसानी विल रिप्लाई लाइक दिस दैट आर यू ईटिंग द फैट और द मीट ऑफ क्रैब और नॉट इन दैट सूप दिस इज दैट विल द क्वेश्चन इफ यस सॉरी नॉट अलाउड गो टू द नेक्स्ट लाइट नाउ ये सारा सी स्पॉन्ज है ऑइस्टर है स्नेल है स्टार फिश है जेलीफिश नाउ देर इज नो नीड एक्चुअली फॉर टू डिस्कस दिस वाई यू हैव टू रिमेबर हाउ मनी थिंग्स Two things leave the whole world. Baba, jo pani ke andar ho sab haram hai. Only two things. Go, go, go. Aquatic. Now, I'll come to the question. Next, go to the next slide, please. Yeah. Go to the next slide. Go. Bas. Is it permissible to eat lobster, crayfish, and snails? Give me the answer. No. Why? Because these are not scaly fish or prawns. 
So it is not permissible. The answer is, it is not permissible to eat from marine animals, anything except fish that has scales, shrimps is considered from the category of permissible sea animals, that's it. Go to the next slide. Question. Is it allowed, don't click, huh? I'm just asking the question. Is it allowed to eat blood and stool of fish? Ah. Am I allowed to eat this or not? Scaly fish is allowed. And what about? Yes or no, I don't have to Okay? Have you seen? You must have seen Daga fish. What is Daga? Small one. When they are eating, they have poo-poo. Where is the poo-poo? Where is the blood? It's inside. <laughs> so Daga fish is allowed or not? You are just saying that you are not saying that. Choose one. What should be the reply? Huh? You will say, no, so Daga fish is not allowed to eat. So my reply is, Daga fish is allowed to eat, Daga fish is allowed to eat, but stool and fish, uh, stool and blood of fish is not allowed. Now, how will you solve this? Oh, ye machili ko kaat ke usme gash karwaayi khun ko. Allah. If the stool of blood is outside, then it is not allowed to eat. If it is inside, and you have have you seen this uh, cartoon that uh, Tom and Jerry? It goes inside and then bad skeleton by rata. If you are eating like this, the whole fish, there's no problem. But the stool or the blood comes out, then you are not allowed to eat. In Daga fish, it is inside actually. And there is no problem. Give me the answer. As an obligatory precaution, eating blood and its waste should be avoided unless the blood and waste inside the body is eaten with fish. In this case, it is not necessary to avoid it. If you eat it with it, there is no problem. You can eat. Like I gave the example of Daga. Yeah. Oh Allah, you don't eat it like that. You don't eat it like that. So what is going to happen? If you see, if you open it, you will 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 open it, you open it, and the stool comes out. Now you are not allowed. You are eating the fish, puri ki puri, directly. I give the example of Daga. Then there is no problem. I understand? Okay, fish ke andar, ab question ak aage aata hai, so how many things are there? Scaly, Fish. Okay. The question will come on scales. How will you define that the fish has scales? What should be the criteria? What should be the criteria that the fish has scales? Mm -hmm. uh, you went to the restaurant. Oh, you are in plane. They brought fish. Sir, this is for you. Now, what is my responsibility? Am I allowed to eat this, that fish? Okay, you will ask that which fish is this? Okay, which fish for example? Tuna fish for example. It is tuna. Tuna has scales or not? It has scales, okay. But, have you seen? Okay, now there, there are two, two different discussions here. I'll go in detail. Scaly fish and it should be caught Alive. What does it mean? Ke jab aap nusko pakda hai, wo zinda ho. Mari bhi nahi ho. Question comes here. What will you say? That that fish, they had, yeah, was it caught alive or not? Do you know this? La? La ta just. Pita sab khat band kar dhyam isko. La ta just. Because it's meat. Now, in this case, normally Ayatollah Sisani says, what is happening normally? What your uncle says? Normally, what happens? Dead fish or alive? Normally. The percentage of dead 
could be, for example, 0.1 percent maybe. It's negligible. Even a non-Muslim bhi agar pakar la hai, to wo alive hi ja ke pakadega. Wo thodi dead fish uske liye wait kar rahe ho ki aao mujhe le kar jao yahan se. You have to go and catch that fish. Dynamite, haan. But how much is the percentage of dynamite? Very less. Negligible. Normally, okala, intellectual people, they'll say, Baba, it is caught alive. So when it comes to this situation, normally we don't have any issue. Kafir or Muslim, wherever you go. Problem comes where? Scaly. So, in in the plane actually, in a plane, you asked which fish is which which fish is this? They said tuna. So it is a scaly fish, and inshallah it will be it would have been caught alive. So my madia. Now I can eat this. There is no problem in that. Now, for example, question is this. पहले क्या कहा स्केल्स कहा मैंने आपको और फिर इंसान को जो है सेटिस्फेक्शन हो या यकीन हो कि लाइफ पकड़ा है ये दो कैटेगरी दो इसकी कंडीशंस हैं स्केल्स एंड ये कैन आई गो टू अ मुस्लिम माय फ्रेंड ही इज अ सुन्नी मुस्लिम आई कैन गो एंड ही हैज ऑफर्ड मी मीट ओके गो टू मीट कैन आई गो एंड परचेज फ्रॉम हिम और कैन आई गो टू अ रेस्टोरेंट टू अ मुस्लिम रेस्टोरेंट आई कैन कैन आई ईट meat from the restaurant yes why is a muslim that us slaughter islamically kiya hoga inshallah that the rule comes sukul muslimin that inshallah taala isne kiya hoga what about fish i skin ka nazar aati hai wo to sab pakke aati hai wo to ha agar aapko अगर आपको स्किन अगर आपको नजर आ रही तो अहल नसल स्किन नजर नहीं आ रही मुझे नहीं समझ में आ रहा फॉर एग्जांपल उसके स्ट्रिप्स हैं ओके सो इन दैट केस व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन एम आई अलाउड टू ईट फ्रॉम अ मुस्लिम रेस्टोरेंट नॉट अ शिया रेस्टोरेंट एम आई अलाउड और नॉट विदाउट आस्किंग बैन अलमा नो एंड यस यस वाई नो why which fish they eat masalan excellent this is the answer because ahl sunnah they eat everything fish which has scales fish which don't have scales they eat everything in this case when it comes to meat we don't have any disagreement with muslims uh, sunni muslims they slaughter we slaughter there is no problem in that but when it comes to scaly fish uh, uh is it, when it comes to fish so you cannot go and inshallah taala scaly fish will be no the way you uh, had taken the acquired the satisfaction by asking you have to acquire this satisfaction you go and ask which fish is this is it shark or is it something else बिकॉज रेस्टोरेंट्स के अंदर बहुत दफा ये होता है आपको जो स्ट्रिप्स खिलाए थे वो शार्क फिश की होती है वो इट्स चीप और जो है पता भी नहीं चलता है और इंसान मजे ले लेके खाता है वो यू कैन आस्क यू कैन आस्क नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दिस इट शुड बी कॉट अ लाइफ आई सो आई हैव अ फिश टैंक माई फिश कमिटेड सुसाइड उसने जंप लगाई कमिटेड सुसाइड and it died outside and am i allowed to eat or not yes you are allowed no you are not allowed yes why ah huh? what is the ruling it should be caught now give me the reply yes or no allowed or not usne jump lagayi hai bahar suicide kiya hai wo jo hai atmahatya ki usne wo mari bhi hai bechari wo ab aap jaate hain usko caught you are catching na at that time inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun ho chuka hai it should be caught alive did you catch alive or dead
No, no, see, see, catching. When you are catching fish, it should be alive. Now, there are two ways. With your hand, you are catching fish. With your hand. So in this case, when you caught the fish, the fish was dead. Or, for example, you threw a net. The fish is in the net, and then it died. Will it be considered halal or haram? Halal, because you net you threw the net. It is considered as you caught that fish, and it is, it was alive. Even water can the jo hai jaan gayi hai. The water actually it died. There is no problem. But you caught it. That's it. There is no problem. See, the wordings are very important. It should be caught. आप उसको पकड़ रहे हैं और वो अलाइव नहीं है सामान ओके लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ओह ही इज गोइंग देयर ओके तो कंटिन्यू ओह ये वहां चले गए कैन यू प्लीज कम टू द स्लाइड नंबर 16 दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली इफ आई एम नॉट कंट्रोलिंग द स्लाइड्स इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट खूब या द फिश मस्ट हैव स्किल्स ऑन इट क्वेश्चन इफ आई एम अनशो वेदर अ फिश इज इज फ्रॉम द टाइप which has scales or not is it permissible for me to consume it mujhe pata hi nahi hai i'm not sure scales hai ya nahi hai you are not allowed to eat why because at least you have satisfaction or yakeen it is shark 50 50 yakeen is 100% satisfaction is 90% if you have doubt yes or no i don't know sorry you're not allowed you're not allowed to eat sorry when there is a doubt of the type of fish then it is not permissible for you to eat okay next slide the fish must have scales on it okay nowadays i am getting fish in in tins okay what do we do so the question is this at times we find the name and picture of fish on the cans cans and come to know that the fish is a, is a, has a skill so is it permissible for us to rely on the name and the or the picture in determining the category of the fish knowing well that a wrong statement of this kind would put the manufacturers in great loss or even more serious situation than just the loss if they claim it's tuna fish but it's not tuna fish it's it's a, it's a shark fish and i know if they write wrong <laughs> they'll be in big trouble they can't write anything which is not matching with the reality i know this so in this situation am i allowed again what do you need yakeen or satisfaction are you satisfied or not if you are satisfied go ahead if you are not satisfied samahan so 90% or 100% so answer is if one is satisfied it is the truth permissible so for scales you have you should have yakeen certainty or at least satisfaction if you are getting satisfaction from this go ahead okay go to the next slide loose fish scales okay so there was a fish actually because of some disease or something all the scales gone are you allowed to eat that fish or not yes you are allowed to eat there is no problem okay what is the definition of scales okay how it should be seen because ray fish and the shark fish they have microscopic scales so are we allowed to eat shark they have microscopic skills so what should be the criteria with the naked eye this is the criteria ayatul asistan ayatul khamnai no issue you can eat shark yeah ayatul asistan says samahan with the naked eye the skills should be seen not the microscopic skills so i'm i'm just moving forward can i eat fish in a non muslim restaurant go to next slide please next slide yeah what well, what should be the reply can i eat fish in a non muslim restaurant shia or non shia this should be the reply if it is shia restaurant bismillah if it is non shia then you have to go and ask or get the satisfaction at least that the fish has scales the reason i got that because they can eat the fish which has no skills go to the next slide please okay skills yani fish without skills or fish that have plecoid skills 
Placoid skills, what is this? Microscopic skills. So microscopic skills are not sufficient. If you go to the next slide, you can see. Please go to the next slide. Yeah. See? So these are the placoid skills of shark and rayfish. You can see. But this is not allowed. This is not sufficient. Okay, as far as I plus the sun is concerned. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, if we empty the water in the pond and the fish dies, does it count as a catch? Mm -hmm. No, this is not a catch and it is not permissible to eat such fish. Next slide. Suppose a fish jumped out of water and it was not caught until it perished. Would it still be halal to eat? No, why? Because it was not caught alive. It was not caught alive. Hope. Catching fish. Now I'm, I'm, go to the next slide. Catching fish I have already discussed because if it is in nets and in, even if it is inside the water and it dies, there is no problem you can eat because it is considered as you caught the fish when it was alive. Go to the next slide, please. Yeah, auntie, mashallah. Uh, Sangeeta Bai. <laughs> I don't know. I just bought the name. So she is the one actually, she's selling fish. Am I allowed to purchase fish from her? Huh? What to ask? Huh? Baba, fish samne mojudo se puchne ki kya zarurat hai? The fish is there in front of you. There is no need to ask. I can see the scales are there or not. There is no need to ask her. We can. Bhai, pakarte vak bismillah kaata nahi kaata. Did they recite bismillah? Did she recite bismillah or not? <laughs> there is no need. I came to know. I don't know. Is it correct or not? I came to know that Bohra uh, community they do this. They recite bismillah or something. I don't know. When they slaughter, ah, they they have to slaughter. Marewe ko. Oh, really, it should be alive. Yeah, and you have to slaughter it. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my, mashallah. It's difficult, huh? So, ruling number 264. So, a fisherman, if fisherman is not Muslim, there's no, oh, but the fish is there, you can see. Two things. Scaly fish, it was caught alive. As we discussed, caught alive. Normally, it is caught alive. There's no problem in that. The problem remains only in the scales. You can see the scales. Enough. Going back, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cooking in the same oil. If they are cooking in the same oil, okay, the question will be that in if they are cooking in the same oil that the shark fish they cooked and tuna fish they are cooking. Now the question will come, that the fat of that fish is there in that oil and when you are cooking and he is cooking that scaly fish for you, so the particles of that shark fish is there in your fish as well. Is this the case? If it is the case, you are eating particles of that shark fish, they are not allowed. You, you, you got it or not? Hold on, I don't know. I don't know. In this case, go ahead. Go ahead, there is no problem. In this case, there is no problem. You got it? Both okay. Aquatico, please. Uh, yeah, go to slide number 31. Slide number, yeah. Fish found in the stomach of another fish. Oh, Machli go ziba kiya, paanch fish andar se nikni hai. Five fish came out. Okay. Am I allowed to eat this fish or not? Pet can alive hungi? Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, are they alive? So, for example, yeah, they are alive. It's okay because you caught alive. If they are dead, you are not allowed. What about the big one? Yeah, the big one is allowed to eat. Why? Because it was caught. And the inside fish, if they were dead, you're not allowed to eat. But for example, you have to eat five fish. Yeah, five fish, 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 five fish,
So the same thing, it should be caught alive. See the statement. If you know the masala, you can use the implication. It's very easy. Fiqh is very easy. Oh. Uh, am I allowed to eat fish alive? Go to slide number 33. You can see in India, they have some sort of treatment. They put har hardi, hardar, and then, ya Allah, bismillah. No, no, they don't say bismillah. <laughs> am I allowed to eat or not? Alive fish. Yes, you are allowed to eat. There's no problem. Yes, you are allowed. Okay, what about caviars? Fish caviar. Am I allowed to eat this or not? Eggs. Am I allowed to eat or not? Oh, these, these are very expensive, huh, by the way. Very expensive. Am I allowed or not? Baba, ya Allah, ulama. This is what I'm asking. <laughs> yes, you can. Fish, see, fish and the eggs of the fish has the same ruling. If fish is allowed, the caviars are allowed as well. So how many things I said you are not allowed to eat in fish? Blood and stool. Caviar is not among blood and stool. So caviar is allowed. If caviar of those fish which are not allowed to eat, you are not allowed to eat. You got it or not? The same thing goes with the egg as well. If chicken is allowed to eat, you are allowed to eat the egg as well. If eagle is not allowed to eat, the egg is not allowed to eat. So the egg or these eggs have the same ruling of that particular animal. If that is allowed, it is allowed. You got it? So caviar and fish eggs have the same ruling which applies to fish itself. Fish oil. Oh, this is a good question. 36. <laughs> Omega or this is, we eat and we take these medicines, fish oil. Okay, what should I do? Am I allowed to eat or not? Okay, now the question should be, it is taken from fish itself. Okay, so fish, this omega, fish oil, it is actually fish. The question will come, two things. Scaly fish, number two. Was it caught allowed or not? Alive or not? So the second thing I'm not asking, because it is allowed actually. Normally we catch fish, alive, scaly fish. This is you have to inquire. If they are writing, for example, that it is tuna fish, go ahead. And for example, you get satisfaction, Baba, they cannot claim something which is not there. They'll be in trouble. You're, so you're, you're satisfied? Go ahead. But for example, Maulana, they have not written the source. Fish oil. So what is the situation? Scales, I don't know. So what was the ruling? What was the ruling? You're not allowed. Why? Because at least you, you should have satisfaction or satiety. I don't know. In this case, you're not allowed to eat. So you should know what you're eating. Understand? If it is coming from, uh, no, nah, even from Muslims, even if it is coming, so again, so you should know because our uh, Sunni brothers, you're not allowed to eat until unless you should know which fish is this. Oh, number 37. Do you have a strength? Or uh, we are going to land animals. Aquatic khatam ho gaya. Now zindagi mein koi bhi sawal hai, pani wala ho mushkil nahi aapke liye. Yeah. Fish, yeah. It is extracted from fish or not? Definitely. Uh, uh, so gelatin has a different ruling. We are, we are coming to this. So gelatin is a different thing. But fish oil itself, so it is taken from fish or not? Baba, fish is there. So the particles or the substance of fish is there. So the ruling of fish will come. Gelatin has a different ruling. I don't want to come here. We'll discuss this later. Land animals. Okay, how will you categorize now? Land animals. What was the category? What were the different categories? Tell me. Yeah. Please, can you go? Aquatic is done. Now, land animals. Okay, land animals, you tell me how to categorize this. Don't go to the next slide. You tell me. Herbivorous, carnivorous. Okay.
okay, so there are some herbivorous animals which are not allowed to eat. Isn't it? Yeah. What? Hippopotamus. Yeah, they're not allowed to eat. Ahsan, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the help. Okay, so this categorization is not correct. What should be the other one? How to categorize? See, I can tell you. I'm going to do it. Accident, accident, accident. One salawat on Muhammad Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wild and domestic animals. It's a good category. Can you please go to the next slide? Domestic animals, wild animals, musk animals. Musk, you know? Pehle kuch aur thai, wo kuch aur ban gaya. Okay? And animals that live underground. These are the four categories. Okay, what about the domestic animals? What will you say? Is it allowed to eat or not? Domestic animals. Domestic animals, yeah, allowed to eat or not? All domestic animals are allowed to eat. So let me go home. Inshallah, I'm going to give my cat. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahman. I'm going to give my dog. Bismillah. These are domestic animals. So there are halal, there are haram. Can you please go to the next slide? So in domestic animals, there are halal and there are haram meat animals. So haram meat animals, dog, pig, cat, rabbit. So these are domestic animals. So rabbit in Shia fiqh, it is not allowed. But our brothers, al sunnah they eat. They eat this. When it comes to halal meat, in halal there are two categories. Approved and disapproved. Makru. For example, chicken and all, goat, you can eat. But there are some disapproved. Means it is makru to eat. What are these? Horse, donkey and mule. Mule, we normally say, alam barzakh between horse and donkey. <laughs> okay. So... You can eat, but it's makru. It's makru. I, I was watching one documentary that I don't know in Azerbaijan. I don't know there in. So they eat horse uh, meat actually in their pulao. They eat this, yeah. So for us, it's makru. Okay. Now, can you please go to the next slide? Yeah. 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 Buffalo. So wild animals. So, okay, wild animals, halal meat and haram meat. So, halal meat, what are these? These are wild animals, okay? Deer, gazelle, buffalo, zebra, ram, ibex, these are halal. These are wild, but you are allowed to eat. But there are some haram meat animals. They are predators. Lion, leopard, cheetah, wolf, fox, hyena, jackal. These are haram. Maulana, we will eat where we will eat. We will eat here chicken, we will eat cuckoo chips. We will eat where we will eat. We will eat a little bit. So listen to us a little bit. Okay. Next slide please. Land animals, musk animals. Musk animals means these animals were having different shapes actually. These were different things and then they are converted into these animals. So monkey, pig, elephant and bear. Bear. How do you pronounce this? Bear. Uh, is it beer that is drinking? Uh, bear. So bear, so these four animals are musk animals. You're not allowed to eat. We have rivayat on that. We have traditions on that. Animals that mostly live underground. Snake, mouse, lizard. So these. So you're not allowed to eat. So land animals, how we have cat categorized? Please. Domestic. Some are halal, some are haram. Wild animals, halal and haram. Then, musk animals and animals that live most in the ground. So, these two categories are simple. But in uh, domestic and wild animals, you have to memorize. There is no criteria. You can, I can't say, actually. You have to memorize. Okay, these are halal, these are haram. Got it? Go to the next slide, please. Birds. Okay, birds, I'll not go in detail. If you go to the next slide, because it will take some time. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to go in detail. Simple is this. For birds, if it is mentioned in riwayat, this bird is halal, that bird is haram. You have to follow riwayat or Quran. But if it is not mentioned anywhere, then what should I do? So there is a three-step process. If you remember that, how the bird flies and this and that, remember? So these, this three-step policy will come 
when the bird is not mentioned in riwayat or in quran koi naya bird aaya samne bhai imam ke zamane mein tha hi nahi wo so then this is the step so the first stage you check this the next stage so for example i'm just reading this out ke that the bird fly uh, that every bird that flaps its wings more than it glides flapping is more but the gliding is less it's halal so like this is three stage i'm not going in detail but this will come when the bird is not mentioned in quran or riwayat so if you see the category that which is mentioned in riwayat halal and haram and makruh you can see uh, 44 slide number 44 haram it is mentioned all birds of prey that have talons talons like oh, sorry talons are the sponge such as falcons eagles hawks and vultures all types of crows and how do you pronounce this c h o u g h s cocks okay third animal that fly do not have feathers such as bats bees mosquitoes and flying insects these are haram these are haram you are not allowed to eat okay b you are not allowed to eat you are eating honey and you have purchased from a local and the honey bee comes out what should i do how oh, can i can use my kitchus you do this thing okay if it's a kid are you throw this honey bee and the rest you can eat rest you can eat yeah there is no problem in that yeah okay birds eggs insects and worms go to uh, slide number 49 haram meat all insects worms and rodents are prohibited the only exception is locusts this is the only exception locusts are halal khob certain part of the halal animals are haram to eat how many masumin chod masumin so chod masumin you are not allowed to eat so i'll not show the picture or just you just go ahead showing the pictures 1 2 3 so i will not discuss this because the ladies and gents it's mixed so i'll not go in detail so i'll sh- share the slides with you so <coughs> i'll not sh- discuss this okay slide number 64 okay uh, if i'll ask you wait for a while you tell me which part of uh, some things for example kaleji is allowed or not makru what do you call kaleji liver it is mashhoor it is not makru <coughs> it is not makru kidneys makru kidneys makru go to uh, 64 liver is allowed to allowed to hai makru pe baat ho rahi thi liver is allowed and it's not makru even you are allowed to eat kidney is 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 makru makru means better not to eat if you want to eat go go eat now 65 i'll finish this with this this is most debatable topic here i don't know if we get some time hindu and christians and all this this now we have discussed the food itself the categorization was based on the food itself so we have discussed what vegetables we discuss what is the ruling of vegetables all vegetables are allah halal okay except which are harmful okay non vegetative so we categorize into okay aquatic what is the ruling all animals aquatic animals are haram except two scale, scaly fish and prawns or shrimps then we came to is it makru it's not mentioned huh? makru it is not mentioned yeah i have to check it uh, i have not seen that it is makru or not i have not seen maybe then we came to land animals so we divided into four categories what were these yeah wild animals domestic animals musk animals and live underground mostly so the last two are haram but wild and domestic animals you have to memorize that which are halal which are haram when it comes to birds so again you have to memorize that which birds are halal which birds are haram which are mentioned in riwayat if it is not mentioned in riwayat or in quran 
So there is a formula. You can go, inshallah, you can see. So there are, three, there are three stages. If first stage is not there, you go and check the second stage. If second is not there, you go to the third stage. Normally, the birds which we are eating, these are mentioned in riwayat. Okay, yes, a question is coming. Grasshopper, locust. Same, yeah. Halal. Yeah. Now, the division is, the categorization is based, you can see, slide number 65, division of halal and haram food based on whom the food is received from. Now, how I should, should I distribute this? How should be the categorization? Yeah. Tell me. Cooked and? Wow. Cooked and uncooked. So cook this, halal. Uncooked is halal. Cook this? Hindu or? So he is going, the categorization, division should be cooked, uncooked. So cooked, you can, uncooked, you can eat, huh? And cooked, if Muslim, allowed. Non-Muslim, not allowed. Okay, uncooked. I go to the shop of Ram Krishna. I don't know. I'm just, and he's selling meat. It's uncooked. Am I allowed to purchase? You don't know. You don't know. This categorization has a division has problem. So there is some issue here that uncooked food, there are some areas that you are not allowed to eat actually. Some Ahle Kitab and non Ahle Kitab. Okay. Let me rub this. Huh? This is the. Okay. I don't know where is this. Now, oh, Samhan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if I say Ahle Kitab and non Ahle Kitab. Okay. Ahle Kitab. Non Ahle Kitab. Okay, what should be the ruling? Tell me. Ahle Kitab allowed. What should I do? Okay, tell you what you do. Okay. Okay. Oh, yalla. Ye dry heart. Dry hand. Wet hand. So, the discussion is from whom you are getting this food. Dry hand and wet hand. A person, Baba, uska hati nahi hai. No. Maulana, kiyo tang kar rahe hai? Khatam kare, majlis mein aapne kam tang kiya humko. Abhi aap ya ke tang kar rahe hai, abhi khane ka time hai. Okay, I'm going. So, go to the next slide, please. Yeah, this is very important, very important. All kinds of food with the exception of meat, fat, and their extracts. Tamam food, sivai us food ke jo aapko slaughter karke nikalna hota hai. Okay? All those foods which you get without slaughtering. Okay, all the vegetables. Okay, there is another thing. A vegetable nahi hai, lekin slaughtering ke bagayar mil milti hai aapko. Milk. Milk of a cow. You get the milk without slaughtering, isn't it? Yeah. Meat you can't get, you have to slaughter. Okay, fat of a cow. Okay, you have to slaughter. But milk you get, butter, cheese, without slaughtering. So this will go into the first category. So what is this? Permissible to eat as long as he does not know that they are najis. You are allowed to eat Papad from everyone. It is coming from India. And even it is mentioned, Ram Papad. Yeah. Now you will ask 
Okay. Is it from this category, that meat, fat, and their extracts? No. It is, it is from the very first category. Jisse mil rahe aap kha sakte hain. Auntie, na, unless you are sure, you have yakin it is najis. Question. You have the surety, it is najis. Are you sure? You have doubt, na? You should be sure. You, have, you should have yakin that it is najis. If you don't know, Bismillah rahman rahim Normally, when I come to this, I always say, if you have Ram, Papa, anything at your home, you're not eating, please bring it. <laughs> Maulana is there. <laughs> Maulana is there. You can bring it. There's no problem in that. Auntie, unless you're sure it is Najis. If it is Najis, it doesn't matter. You are taking it from Muslim or non-Muslim. You got it or not? So it's come matlab papa ho gaya, chips ho gaya, dale ho gaya, ghee ho gaya, tel ho gaya, milk ho gaya. Give me some brands name coming from India. Huh? Br brands, brands. Amul, Amul cheese. Amul cheese is coming. Am I allowed to eat or not? My sister is saying. Are you saying no? If you're saying no, then you have not understood. Wallahi. It's the first one. <laughs> You are allowed to eat. Why? Because in this Haldiram, what is the product of Haldiram? All the chips and chevra. Yeah, yeah. But no, uh, you come to know that you see that, that uh, you go to a shop and you see that the workers are there and it's a hard se bana bana ke jo hai ke naam hai pasina laga la ke aur aapko papad bana ke de rahe hain. اس کا نام بھی جو ہے ہندو والا نام ہے اب میں کو ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ میں نے نہیں دیکھا نا سامان نا یو گوٹ یقین ایکچولی فار ایگزامپل ان دار اسلام سو وی ہیو سم ہندو شاپس بٹ دا ورکرس آر ایفریکنس دے آر ناٹ ہندو دیر از نو پرابلم دیٹ نارملی ایفریکنس آر ناٹ ہندو از انٹ اٹ دے آر ادھر کرسچن اور مسلمس اینڈ آئی ڈونٹ نو آئی ڈونٹ نو I don't know the religion of that person. There is no problem. Go and eat. Baba, Ahlul Kitab, leave Ahlul Kitab. In this case, there is no need to go and ask. Should I go and ask? Tamaru religion suche. Do you believe in Imam Ali Alayhi Sadhu Sam Vilayat? Ah, you are coming to the very hot topic, huh? Maulana, I will say something, but I will see you in the Hindu restaurant and sit in the Hindu restaurant. Maulana said. بھجیا ہاں اگر اگر آپ کو یقین ہے کہ نجس ہے یو آر ناٹ الاؤڈ ٹو ایٹ یا اگر اس کا آدمی بنا رہا ہے اور دیکھیں میں آپ کو فخ بتا رہا ہوں آئی ایم ٹیلنگ یو فخ اخلاق عرفان اٹ از ڈفرینٹ تھنگ لیٹ می ٹیل یو پلیز لیٹ می کلیریفائی دس تھنگ دیٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ فخ ول ٹیل یو دا باؤنڈری دیز آر رولس یس اور نو بٹ دیر از سم تھنگ یو ہیو ٹو کم ان سائڈ Those who are walking on this, one day they will fall. One day they will fall. So, apne aapko bachayen. Koshish karein, behtar yehi hai. Agar aap fikki upar zindagi guzarenge, problematic hai. Batao aapko. When Maulana was telling, I heard as much as he said that one day I went to my house and I saw the dishes are not washed, the food is not cooked. You should know that it is not wajib on dairies. This is not their duty. So, یہ میرے جملے ہیں میں نے دیکھا اپنی وائف کو تو وہ تو جو ہے سوشل میڈیا کے اوپر انسٹاگرام جو ہے سو آئی آسٹ شی سیٹ سامحانی فک الاؤز می اٹس ناٹ واجب آن می مولانا سیٹ ہاں شعور یا کو میرے پاس بھی چار الاؤڈ ہیں وہ تو میں نیکسٹ ڈے آیا تو میری بیگم صاف کر رہی ہے اف دس از دا کیس Then we call it Islamic terrorism. Uh, you're using Islam for your purpose now. So there is a mutual understanding. So there are a lot of things beyond that actually. Mawadda and Rahma, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept between the couples. Fikko nahi rakha beech mein. Kisko rakha hai? Mawadda or Rahma. In Rahma, what do you do? You do more than what you're supposed to do. Oh, 
سوامہانی ہے اس زمین میں پہلے یہ کپلس کے مسائل تو حل کروں میں یہ بھی چہرے کا نجس کس کو کہیں گے اوکے نجس دیر آر ہاؤ مینی ٹین تھنگس آر نجس ان ورلڈ اوکے تو آپ توجیل مسائل میں جا کے ناٹ دا ہول ٹاپک ولی اسٹارٹ کتا سور بلڈ یورین اسٹول دیز از اے کافیر سو دیز آر دا نجس تھنگس ایف اگر وہ ٹچ کر جائیں کسی کے ساتھ تو دیٹ تھنگ بیکمس نجس ہندو از اے کافیر اگر ہندو نے ٹچ کیا ہے سو نجس یو آر ناٹ الاؤ ٹو ایٹ بٹ ایف یو ہیو ناٹ سین یا سو بیکاز اٹ از کمنگ ٹو دا فرسٹ کیٹیگری نا اگر آپ دیکھیں میرے سامنے اتنی وہ نہیں لے کر آئے ڈرل ڈاؤن نہیں کریں اس کو ہیو یو سین اٹ از نجس آر یو شور اٹ از نجس اور ناٹ اب وہ نکالتا ہے وہ ڈالتا ہے وہ سوتا ہے وہ جاگتا ہے آئی یو گو اینڈ سوٹ دس آؤٹ ایف یو ہیو یقین اٹ از نجس ناٹ الاؤ ٹو ایٹ ایف یو ڈونٹ ہیو یقین انجوائے پانی پوری بھیل پوری got it or not i think we keep keep it here it's already 9:30 i wanted to discuss this further inshallah if we'll get some time we can have more discussion on this okay we had some more discussions on for example uh, alcohol as well there were some things inshallah ta'ala i'll share the slides you can read this inshallah ta'ala yes paya kha sakte hain wo chod masumi mein nahi aata hai see See how I'm replying, you learn this. You're, you're laughing, na? I didn't give the answer, yes or no. I said, what did I say? It's not in the 14th I gave you the rule. That's what you have to remember. That's how you remember this. So, what did I say in the 14th century? Whatever you are coming in the cow. Go and eat. Bhagwan. By seeing the picture of the Bhagwan, do you get yakin that it is Najis? Are you satisfied it is Najis? Maybe there are some workers in the factory. They were Muslims. Number two. Maybe it was automated. The plants were automated, everything. There are chances, no? When there is a doubt, you get the benefit of doubt. Go ahead. So you have benefit of doubt, doubt here. You, do, you have not seen. Or you're not sure. So you can eat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm here. If you have questions, you can ask. Just, there were some other things as well. Leather and all this stuff. So I don't have time actually. This uh, fiqh, fiqh allows you. Yeah, you can go. So those who, who want to leave, you can leave. Fiqh allows you, Chevro and all this ghantia. It allows you. More than this, there are some... For example, if you didn't know that there is alcohol, okay, there is sharab, or there is poison in that water. Okay, if I drink this, is it haram on me? I didn't know. Okay, impact hoga nahi hoga. That is called athar e wadi'i. Athar e wadi'i are there on your soul. It's a different topic. Our discussion is on fiqh, halal and haram. I'm giving you the rules. Halal, haram, halal, haram. But there are other things as well. Yeah. Is that has impact on your soul. Yeah. Prashad, again, yeah, just pr they have pr brought prashad. If you have yakin, it is najis, you're not allowed to eat. If you have yaqeen, it is najis, you are not allowed to eat. Got it? Normally the question comes, Baba, my uh, neighbor is Hindu. They always ask me, come and sit with me and eat something. These questions are there as well. Again, if you have yaqeen, it is najis, you are not allowed to eat. So one of the best thing is this, that when you are going to your Hindu or someone, so say, Baba, pack the item I eat. <laughs> So open item all this. This is the way actually you can run away.
May Allah give us tawfiq to follow what we have learned. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Sheikh, for uh, enlighten, enlightening us on this topic. Inshallah, we'll have another uh, session with Sheikh on Friday.